some women that you know in their 30s look better than some of these women in their 20s i'm just saying you know i'm just saying like i ain't mad at nobody I'm don't get it twisted don't have someone at 35 doesn't mean you keep going to 60 and 70 mm. again going to extremes i'm 53 Just because, that's not extreme no but you keep mentioning 60 talking to your mic talking to your mic you keep yeah. mentioning 60 70 that's extreme from 35 but that's, i'm 53 you don't, you don't go from you haven't mentioned okay a woman at 40 you're, you're jumping you're jumping years that's what i'm saying i'm saying just because my point is to begin with just because you're 35 and you're single doesn't mean you'll be single at 40 at 60 at 70 well, but the problem is at 35 you've lost all the things that men value that that's the problem because men men value femininity fertility and they value youth so you can't say you're youthful when you're almost halfway through your life like <laughs> you can't say you're fertile when you're 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 about to have geriatric pregnancy so it's like and you look worse than you did it at 25 right so the way you're thinking is like a woman so i just have to comment on this now this is I'm gonna step outside myself. This is not me talking. I'm I'm in my 30s, by the way. So we on we gonna step outside of that right now. I understand what she's saying. I understand as a man. Once you have built something for yourself, once you are at a certain age, you're tired of being a player. Once you're like in your 30s, 40s, you know, some of them maybe even when they close to 50. Once you get to that age range, and you're like, okay. Let me look around. I'm ready for my wife. I'm ready to build a family. I'm ready for kids now. And you make your list. She got to be under 25. I need me a pretty little, I need me a pretty little young thing. She got to be under 25. She got to be fit. She got to have that little small waist with the, you know, mm. she got to be friendly. She, I got to get along with her. She can't have no attitude. She has to be feminine. She cannot be masculine. She has to want kids, obviously, because I'm ready for kids. She has to want marriage. She has to want to be a wife and, you know, have those credentials for a wife. If you look around at your real options, how many women are you around on an everyday basis that are single, that are actually interested in you as a man that's going to fit that criteria? Be realistic with yourself. I mean, we always like to get on the women when we make our list with our six feet tall man over six figures. You know, he has to be masculine, give us security. He has to be a provider. He has to want to settle down. He has to be monogamous. We make up our list and then we are told, well, no, you don't qualify for that girl. You, you know what I mean? You too old for that. You know, you got too much weight on you for that girl. You act you act too crazy. You too masculine to find you a man like that. As a man, it works both ways. Now, as Americans as a whole, we all average out here. Like everybody's average out here. Everybody's making this, you know, the average amount of money. Everybody ain't walking around here with six packs and, you know, little tiny waists and big booties and those are not the average looking Americans. Just understand your options also. And don't be so quick to dismiss somebody or be so quick to disqualify somebody because they don't fit something on your list. But I know, I know, I know this as a man that you want somebody who can do certain things for you in your life just as much as a woman does. I mean, it goes both ways. There is nothing wrong with wanting to find that. Yes, there are a lot of women nowadays getting pregnant in their 30s, you know, and just naturally it happens. Some women that, you know, in their 30s look better than some of these women in their 20s. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying, like, I ain't mad at nobody. I'm just, it is what it is. Like a lot of, a lot of Americans are overweight, especially in the black community. A lot of women are overweight. A lot of women are aggressive and masculine. A lot of women are out here having a hot girl summer. They on OnlyFans, they, you know, Instagram baddies. So they, they on here half naked, you know, they strippers. Like now more than ever, like women are turning to sexualizing themselves to make their income, especially in this newer generation. So even though as a man, you have this ideal woman in your head of what you want, once you are ready to settle down, does this woman want me? Does this woman want to have my kids? Does she want to be my wife and submit to me and make my life easier? Is this woman gonna be my peace? Or am I gonna get her pregnant 
and she's gonna create chaos for my life. And she's gonna be a crazy baby mama. Got our little age ranges, you know, we got our height requirements, our weight requirements, you know, personality requirements. It all looks cute when it's on paper. It all sounds good on paper. You have to understand what realistically your options are. So I'm just saying, let's be open-minded. Let's be more open-minded. I need to address this. I swear, I'm not trying to be biased. Just please understand where I'm coming from. This Basically, she's saying you can be fit, friendly, and feminine in your 20s. But once you hit, you know, your 30s, you're 35 years old, you lose all of that. And I don't agree with that at all. When you see masculine women in their 30s and 40s and they're very, like, combative and they're not friendly or, you know, they're overweight, a lot of that happened in their 20s. I don't think that was no overnight thing where, you know, all of a sudden, once you hit a certain age, like at midnight, all of a sudden this magic dust comes down and you become this unfriendly, unfit, masculine woman. No, you've built that over the years. You've already had those qualities in you. Now that you're older though, you're not afraid to show them as much. That I think there's plenty of fit, feminine, friendly women who are in their 30s and their 40s. You just have to find them. I think it's hard to find that in general, no matter what the age range. Just as women, we have to be realistic with our choices. So does men, you know. So as a woman, don't beat yourself up if you're over 30, you know, if you, you know, look a certain way, act a certain way, because honestly, the men are gonna understand. Our options are limited also, just as a woman's options are limited. You're all out here taking risk. And it's hard for everybody to find somebody that you can get through your life with and build with and actually be, for the most part, happy. Because you're not going to be 100% happy with nobody. But for the most part, you want somebody who, in general, they're going to make you a better person in life. You're better with them than without them. I mean, that's the simplest way I can explain it without adding all the extra variables into it. Y'all can get up out of my house now.